Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to discuss about how to connect the web link. This is the icon of the web link, how to connect it, how it works and what all feature is provided in the infotainment system of this car. We are sitting in the Honda City 5th generation 2020 and you are watching Monster Car Unleaded. Then let's get started. <music> Weblink is the next generation application delivery platform for in-vehicle infotainment system. It leverages the power of the phone to deliver driver relevant application to the vehicle, uh, car radios in a safe manner. Weblink enables application run on the smartphone and are projected to the in-vehicle system. You can cast your phone right there. Alright, so uh, first thing is let's go back to the home here. And here you will see apps. Inside the apps you can either play Apple CarPlay, Android Auto or the Weblink. Today we're going to see how you will connect the Weblink to this particular infotainment system. We will go to the settings and go to the smartphone and you have to select which phone you're using iPhone or Android phone. If I go to the iPhone, I'm just not going right now because I have many phone connected to the system just to maintain the privacy. You just have to go to the iPhone and you have to select your phone and select Weblink or Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, whatever you want to play on that phone. Alright, so let's go back to the home and let me just connect my phone with that. So first what you have to do is you will have to go to the App Store. So once you go to the App Store or if you're using an Android phone, go to the Play Store and select Weblink or search for Weblink like that. You will see Weblink host application. You have to go there and install these applications. Once you do that, you have to open the application. It will look something like this. Right now it says disconnected. Please connect a compatible Weblink head unit. This is the head unit we will going to connect now. Uh, you can um, go to the settings, apps, whichever apps you want to run on the infotainment system. Whenever a new app comes in, you will automatically see over here. You can enable that app to run on the infotainment system of yours. Let me just connect this smartphone with my USB. Make sure you have to connect it from here. The car icon is shown over here. You have to connect from here. In this car, it does not work automatically, mm, wirelessly, I mean. So yeah, once I do that, it will initialize the application and you will see that instead of app, now I have a web link icon over there. As soon as you do that, it will in your phone, it will show as connected. And this is the apps which you can run right now on the web link. Number one, this is the Waze app. Waze app, why I use it? I trust Waze app on the navigation parts. It helps me with my navigation part. It will ask me to resume. If I select an application like Waze, then I have to, you know, screen broadcast over there. And this will connect to my Waze. So anyway, we are not starting that now. I'm just stopping the broadcast of that. And yeah, uh, so what we'll do now is this is the Waze app. Um, this is not a paid video guys, not for the Waze at all. So um, uh, this is just my personal preference that I trust more on the navigation part when I drive my car, I use Waze only. And even in the Apple CarPlay, my default app for the Google Maps is not Google Maps, it's the Waze. Um, second thing you is your iAuto web browser. This is the auto web, same like Google Chrome or Safari or Firefox. This is the iAuto web browser for your car. So you can basically open that. Every time you open something, you have to give permission. So this is how it will look like. You can, I can go to the google.com. For example, I can use my Facebook and whatnot. So I can use this as a web browser. Same like, like the TV, you can use that. Let me just type Facebook. Yeah, so I can go to the 
Facebook. I can basically use this as my yeah. So uh, I can actually use this app for the web browsing. This i i auto is also very good. I can see my history. and i can same like google chrome i can do everything in here so this is very good let me just exit this web browser and let me show you what the yeah so we are back on the home page i can use the youtube i can use my music player i can cast my mobile screen over here so there are uh, plenty of features over here so if you want to watch videos like youtube inside the youtube you have to make sure that you are standing still in the car you cannot just drive the car and watch movies while driving the car that's not safe at all so that is not allowed as well on the web link but you have to make sure that your hand brake is on you're in the parking mode and you can use the youtube so for example if you're waiting for someone um in the car then you can of course watch the movies and everything you can do from the web browser as well you can you know uh, watch movies from there as well whichever website you want to go to you can browse that so that's how simple that is so this is this web link is very very important feature and and very useful feature you can say uh, for this car that you can do so many things uh, when in the app or car play it's a complete different story you know there are you can listen to music and it's kind of its own infotainment system that car play or android auto is giving you so um there are also many plenty apps on the car play as well so i'm going to uh, post the video of the car play uh, next video will be of the car play mostly and we will try to cover the uh, settings of the car play basically that how you can change your default apps to something else and uh, same like what i've did here in the car play that i have changed my google maps default app to the ways so how you can do that as well i'll show you in the next video so yeah that was all about the web link as soon as you get new apps on the web link when there is a supported apps comes in then you can of course uh, install that app and you can use it over here so this is a cool feature of course let me just go back quick me this is how it works so if you go to the settings you can go to the faqs and you can see if you have any troubleshooting you can check it and solve it directly you can uh, web link cast you can say that what kind of quality you want and so on apps as i told you before that you will see new apps coming in over here so once it is so today only i got this i auto web browser so i enabled it from here and then i installed the i auto web browser which you were able to see on this particular screen on my infotainment system so here this is the i auto which is new app what has come um with the web link feature so you can have more from this of course the cast button is also very useful but yeah there is one lag that um you cannot control your cast from here once you cast your screen it will look like this over here it will be it will like that screen and then but you have to you cannot control the cast screen from you cannot touch on the infotainment system and use it you have to use it from your phone and you can check it over here so if i'm driving i can just you know put my phone over here and i'm driving and um i can watch um, my car screen and i can change it from here itself so of course it is not recommended guys it's not safe at all while driving while driving do not use your smartphones any time so it's not recommended at all uh, care for yourself and care for other people on the road as well so please guys do not use your smartphone or your infotainment system as whole while you're driving only use that while you are standing still in a car position all right guys so that was all for today we will meet in the next video with the new topic thank you so much for watching guys if you have not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to this channel it will really help me a lot and uh, please uh, give a thumbs up if you have liked this video and uh, please share this with your friends thank you so much guys and yeah never miss an update about my videos press that bell icon what you see beside your subscribe button there will be a bell icon please click on that so that you get notifications when i upload new videos for you all right then thank you so much guys and see you next time till then bye bye